Yeah. Look how long that bread is. I kind of switched the mirror around, so now it stands here. This is originally where I wanted to put it because I just thought like the background, everything would look so much better, but it did open up this entire space for us. So our cactuses look all cute. Um, and then I did add in a blanket. This one's from Amazon. I was looking for one. I like went everywhere in person, but couldn't really fall in love with anything. And then this one was so cute. It has like our vibe still from like the bohemian um, look to it too. So matches like this space a lot with the cactuses. And now my guy is like telling me that we need to get a projector. So we stopped at Trader Joe's first to see what they have in for Christmas, like decorations. The wreath smelled really, really good, but it was overall like a disappointment there. They didn't really have anything, and the greens that I always get for our vase arrangements were so dead. Like, look how brown they are. Yeah, I guess it's a little bit more full. Let's look it around. Like that side down there, well that would face the wall. Cause it's not like, do I think it's cute? What do you think? Like, they actually look really cute. Yeah. The big ones? Yeah. Big like ones are cute too. But I, I do like the little ones. I think I like pink. Yeah. yeah. The other one on the ground looked cute. They don't have any more, it's just like the only one. That's the one that like that we had watched there were spiders on it, I feel like. Really? I don't know what it is. It's cute. Hi. The little pink one? Yeah, I think the pink one looks cute. Which one I would pick if you knew me. You know me. <laughs> you do know me. Why? There's a lot of them that are cute. Which one would you think I would pick because it's timeless and I could use it every year? Well, that one. Which one? That one. White one? Yeah. No, that's not what I want. Timeless. This one. What? That would never go timeless. The red is cute too. Red is more traditional. Yeah. It looked cute. It's like hearts, but I would do like a pink and a blue theme. I guess with red. I think that would be cute colors because you already get uh, green. I would pick this one. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, where are we gonna put it? The green one is cute too, though. No, we don't have anywhere to put it. Oh. I'm just saying for later. Did you get this? What? Oh, here, you can compare it to how much lights you need because these are the Christmas trees. See, oh. that's plenty. Well, how do you know how many? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. plenty, baby. Yeah, well, those are tiny. And see, those, those ones are the ones that are those little things. So it yeah. still works. It's just very thin. Makushku. <laughs> It is so cute. <laughs> that is adorable, babe. Love it. Do you want to try the cheese? I don't want to excited about it. Yeah. So we ended up going with this Christmas tree. It's so cute. And then we got a poinsettia. Didn't we just say that we didn't like poinsettias? <laughs> we did. <laughs> but we got this one. It's mini, so it looked super cute. Um, cottage cheese because we needed it and then oh we got a new thing so Trader Joe's uh, cheese that tastes like cheesecake we ended up got getting it we're gonna try and see if it's actually how they say it is and then we got like some persimmons because they're organic and it's a good price for them I needed some spices I think I got like oregano and then I wanted my little banana pouches what do you think I think it's really cute. Oh, it's my check over there. So here, let me see. Oh, yeah. And this is how our Christmas decor turned out. We might put some bows on the tree, like, after Thanksgiving. But I'm going to have the pumpkins here until after then, too. Pomegranates are going to probably get eaten in a few days, so this always gets switched up anyway. But I really like the poinsettia. We did not think we are going to be getting them. 
this year because we never have. We weren't really big fans, but it actually looks really cute. And from, and from this angle, it ends up looking really nice and cozy in here. It's really sweet, so I love it. It's perfect size. It actually tastes good. Mm -hmm. Good to know. Now we need some tea now for this. <laughs> That's why it was all taken. Today I am making cinnamon rolls. I've tried so many recipes and like altered it to what I like. So I'm going to share it with you guys. I'm starting off with one cup of wormed milk. And I do make this in my bread maker. So I pour it in there. And then I add about five tablespoons of butter. You can melt it in your microwave if you need to. Or just let it sit out. And then I add in one third cup of sugar. If you want a little bit less sweetened, you can do less than that. And then I add in some sea salt, like a pinch, big pinch, and I crack open two eggs. This is what it ends up looking like. I add a big splash of vanilla extract. You can add two splashes if you'd like. And then comes the part with the flour. So I learned that scooping flour is way better for me and I do five cups. A little bit less if needed since everyone's flour is different so start with three and a half and move up as you're mixing the dough and i do pre-sift my flour and you want to go ahead and add two and a half teaspoons of some yeast i used instant here and i just pop it right on top and then i'm ready and like to go so i go ahead and set my bread machine to the dough setting i leave it at like the setting where it's like at 1.5 And while my dough is mixing, I go ahead and prep my filling. So I add in some brown sugar, one and a half cups. If you like more filling, you can do more, but you want to pack it in. Then I go ahead and add in one huge like tablespoon of pumpkin spice. I love to eye everything. So yeah, anyway, afterwards I add in about three tablespoons of cinnamon and then you can mix it if you want to you use like a different container that's bigger do it but i just find it easier to measure in my mason jar and then mix it in there giving you a warning this part is going to smell so good already i also prep my cream cheese like frosting right now too so i add in one half cup of cream cheese have it be room temperature add in a little like pinch of sea salt and a splash of vanilla extract. I put in four tablespoons of butter, also room temperature. I also put in a few splashes of milk into my mixer to mix it all together. And my cream cheese was not room temperature, so I had it a little bit clumpy, but after you add in one and one half cups of powdered sugar, just until it like mixes really well, you'll see it. and look my dough is finally done i was trying to rush actually because we were trying to go to the pool but i lay a parchment sheet on my counter and make sure i put some butter on it but my dough was so perfect look how pillowy it is i could have kind of not did too much flour this time i use my hands to spread it out you can definitely use a rolling pin i just find it a little bit easier Next, you want seven tablespoons of softened butter and you want to just spread it all around. I like to kind of just like massage it into the dough a little bit. This is what you want it to look like once you're finished. And then I find it easiest to transfer this onto like a baking sheet before you put in like the filling because then it's going to be much like heavier and harder and it's going to get all over the kitchen so yeah just spread the filling all over everything make sure you get the sides really good i like to roll it up from like the longer side up so i guess from the shorter um, horizontal part of it and just roll it as thinly together as you can that way there's just going to be like more Filling once it's all baked and then I use my kitchen knife to go ahead and 
cut it. I divide it into 12 pieces, but you can honestly do even more if you want like little cinnamon rolls. Look how beautiful it looks already. I go ahead and try and spread them out in different places, but don't worry, they're all gonna bake in really like perfect together. Since I was in a hurry, I tried to warm up my oven on the lowest like one that it has, so I have 150, and I left it in there for just a few minutes. That way it can puff up like this. It just speeds up like the proofing part. I took them out and started my oven to 350 and let the cinnamon rolls still rise. So this was 30 minutes after putting them into the oven for about 10 minutes and then having them sit out for 20 minutes while the oven preheated. I went ahead and put them into the oven to bake for 15 minutes and then I opened up the oven and added in one cup Maybe a little bit more actually of heavy whipping cream and just poured it all over each one. And baked until they were goldeny like this. I could have took them out like a minute or two before, but I go ahead and add all of the cream cheese frosting on top of each one, kind of divide it out so each one gets like a similar amount and just spread it on there while it's still really warm from the oven. And I had it rest for like... 30 minutes and then I took a bite of it. It was so delicious, but it definitely cooled down all the way. So eat it before that time. Yeah. Yeah, let's start with me. <laughs> <laughs> I had anything match with my eyebrows like that before. You need to put all the selfies when you get home. Oh, that's awesome. Lay back a little bit. Mm -hmm. When it's wet, it looks like this. Yeah. And now they're like <laughs> devastated. Oh my goodness. Not you want to change anything? You know, they're probably like, just Yeah. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> First. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Transition from white. From something if different. If it's darker, I would have a panic attack. But if you want to go darker. <laughs> no, we won't. I'm going to go home and um, put in all my curly stuff and diffuse it. And when do you leave? All day. Okay. Why do you think I'm going to hate it? No, I think you're going to love it. <laughs> just saying.